Hello everyone and welcome to the second session on exponents and powers. Today we will be learning the properties of exponents and powers. Before that I would like to tell you what is exponent and what we have studied in previous lecture. We have learned in the previous lecture that a number 10,000 can be represented by 10 raised to 4 or 10 to the power of 4 where 10 is the base and 4 is the exponent or you can say 4 is the power. So this was we had learned why we used or why we require this exponent form that also we discussed because as the number grows like 10,000, 10 lakhs and so on it would be difficult for us to represent the number with one and number of zeros. So a different method has come a different uh, pattern or different form has come to represent those numbers as saying that it's like 10 raised to the power of 4 or 10 to the power of 4 where 10 will become the base and 4 becomes the exponent okay now let us discuss about some few properties of the exponent let me take first example and try to tell you the same if i have here 2 raised to the power of 2 into 2 raised to the power of 3 if I expand the same I get 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 okay if I try and expand it further I will be getting 2 or I'll if you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 so I can say that this is 2 raised to the power of 5 or in other words I can say it is 2 plus 2 or I can say that 2 raised to 2 into 2 raised to 3 is equal to 2 raised to 2 plus 3 is this clear let us take one more example and try to simplify in the same manner a raised to 2 to a raised to 4 gives me a to a and a cross a cross a cross a now if you see this I can say that this is a raised to the power of 6 or in other words this is a 2 plus 4 so you can have come here to the conclusion that is 2 plus 4 So on seeing these two statements or on seeing these two examples, can we generalize that if I have a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of n, I can simplify it as a raised to the power of m plus n. So this is our first property which, which says that a raised to the power of m to a raised to the power of n can be simplified with a raised to m plus n with a, m and n both all the three are numbers. Now you can put here an example of a is equal to 2 and m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. So here you can say is that 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 3 gives me 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 3. Same way here, if I have the uh, a as variable a and m and as a number 2 and 4 respectively, then I can say a raised to the power of 2, a raised to the power of 4 gives me a m plus 1 that is 2 plus 4. So this is the first property of the exponent which is known as multiplying numbers with the same base and different exponent. Here you can see the base is same in both the cases but you have a different exponent. 2 and 3 in both uh, in the cases and here 2 and 4 so that gives us a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of n gives us a raised to the power of m plus n let's try and derive the second property derive the second property I'll take one example here 3 raised to the power of 7 divided by 3 raised to the power of 4 I can simply expand this as 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 into 3 divided by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 you can cross this or this gets cancelled 
and I am left out with 3 into 3 into 3 that is 3 raised to the power of 3 or in other words I can say it's 3 raised to the power of 7 minus 4 so 3 raised to 7 divided by 3 raised to 4 gives me 3 raised to 7 minus 4 if I simplify the same let's take one more example and try to understand this problem in a different perspective if I have 5 raised to 6 divided by 5 raised to 2 I can expand it as 5 into 5 into 5 6 times divided by 5 into 5 2 times these both gets cancelled so I am left out with 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 that is equal to 5 raised to 4 or in other words I can say it is 5 raised to 6 minus 2 so in both the examples you can see that the base remains same we are dividing the numbers and here the exponents are changed so can we generalize it something like this a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n gives us a raised to the power of m minus n this is our second property which is dividing the number with the same base and different exponent you can see here the bases are same a but the exponents are different m and n so when we multiply it in the previous case you can see that when we are multiplying the same base and different exponent we were adding the exponents or adding the powers when we are dividing the same base and different exponent we are actually subtracting so this property is used when we are uh, multiplying and dividing the numbers with the powers this is for this session to next property in the next session we will again discuss two more properties thank you